In this video, I'm going to share with you the best accessories for this camera covering a range of budgets and a range of skill sets from stuff that starts at 10 quid up to 250 quid, which is the higher pro end gear and everything in between. So let's get straight to it. The first thing you need is to get a spare battery. The battery on the one inch 360 lasts about 50 to 60 minutes and you don't want to be caught short. And you can charge the battery independently of the camera so you can carry on shooting. A power bank is a must have and I always recommend one if you have an action camera of any sort. I usually use this one from Anker, which is 10,000 milliamp hours. So you can charge your camera up several times and it would keep it running for hours on end for those long time lapse shots. For a more pro end version, you could go for this one by OmniCharge, which is 20,000 milliamp hour. It isn't pocket friendly, but it's the most versatile power bank that I've seen. And you can charge your phone, camera, and even your laptop. It's perfect if you're away from home for a couple of days out on an adventure, and I've even used it in a hotel just because it's more convenient than plugging in several things into plug sockets. It also has a convenient LCD display which gives you lots of information about what sockets you're using and the charge that it's giving you. It also comes with this semi-rigid travel case and this not only protects the power bank but you can also put in your power cables in there as well. The internal audio with most cameras like this isn't that great and this is no exception. And you certainly can't rely on the internal mic if you want to clearly hear your voice. There are a few accessories that you need to buy with this camera if you want better audio. The mic that I recommend using is the Rode Wireless Go or the Rode Wireless Go 2. It's really compact, has clear audio and is plug and play so it's really simple to use. And I've tested this mic under extreme conditions and it has a really long range. You do need a mic adapter with the 1 inch and that can be plugged into the USB-C socket here. And to mount the mic on the camera you'll need this mic bracket. The great thing about this bracket is that it keeps the mic invisible in your 360 shots as it keeps the receiver hidden in the stitch line. I only ever use SanDisk memory cards with not just smaller 360 action cameras but also professionally in my freelance work with higher end cameras and I find them to be the most reliable. For action cameras, I personally use 64 gig and 128 gig cards. To store your memory cards and to keep them safe, you can buy these inexpensive card cases and you can buy cases with four slots or more. The lenses on this camera are huge and really delicate, so you need to get yourself a lens cloth, a lens pen, and even some canned air, especially if you're using your camera professionally. I like to use these lens cloths which fold up conveniently into the included pouch and you can clip them onto your jeans or on your camera bag. A lens pen gives you both a brush to gently dust off the lens and also a soft lens pad to clean off any marks and smudges. I have lots of options in this video for cases and bags to protect your camera and to carry it around with you while you're traveling or shooting. The cheapest option I found was this lens case. Now this was free for me because I had it already lying around the house. But if you don't have a lens case, these are only gonna cost you one or two pounds. And without the lens hood, this is the perfect size for this camera. And if you want another added layer of protection, which is just as cheap, you can get this lens pouch. Pop the camera in the lens pouch and then put it inside the hard case. I had all of these cases just kicking around at home, so it's worth thinking out the box before you go out and spend any money on a case for your camera. I have a lot of smaller cameras and loads of camera accessories, and I found that these three cases from Bubum, I think you pronounce it, are really versatile and ridiculously good value for money. These cases are really good for storing your camera gear or for travel where you're putting these inside a bigger bag, but they're no good for shooting on the move. For shooting on the move, you're gonna want a small wearable camera bag, and I discovered this bag from TomTok earlier this year, and it's a sling bag, and it's absolutely amazing. I really love it, and it's my number one go-to bag now for when I'm out and about, and I've only got a small camera and a few accessories to take with me. It has several pockets with plenty of space for your camera and accessories, and it's really compact. And the sling design means you can swing it round to access your camera, and then you just swing it back out the way. This camera is a lot more expensive and a lot more professional than a lot of the other Insta360 cameras. So there's a good chance if you're shooting with it professionally, you'll be using it with other gear. And that's especially the case if you're doing virtual tours. And for those type of shoots, I've got these two new bags from PGY Tech. And these bags will accommodate your 360 camera, accessories, DSLR cameras, lenses, and even drones, VR headsets, and a lot more. The first is the OneGo Air backpack, and it's designed for shooting on the move. It's lightweight with 20 litre capacity, so it's nice and compact, but you can still fit in all your extra 
extra gear. You can store your 1 inch camera and a spare 360 camera if you have one, plus your 1 inch accessories, a DSLR, a spare lens and maybe a halo light. And you can use the laptop storage space at the back here for your selfie sticks or place them in the side pocket. And you also have a small zip pocket for smaller accessories like memory cards or batteries. It's a modular system so all the dividers are movable and the bag pocket opens right up so you can access and see all of your gear easily. You also have a quick access side pocket and a quick access wide opening top pocket. If you have more than one camera you need to carry, they've also released a smaller version of their first OneMo backpack which is the OneMo Lite and it has a 22 litre capacity and has a lot more movable dividers than the OneMo Air and this helps you organize your gear more efficiently. It has one quick access side pocket, a laptop pocket, a small accessory pocket on the inside and outside, and a large deep pocket on the front, which you can use for selfie sticks and bigger accessories. And the selfie sticks or your tripod can also be stored on the outside here as well. All of the PGY Tech bags are wear resistant and splash proof, and what I really love is that they look really slick and modern and give a professional image when you meet clients on your shoots. A selfie stick is an essential accessory with any 360 camera, and with this camera it needs to be particularly strong. So at the very least, buy this one from Insta360, which is around 23 centimeters when it's closed, but extends to a fairly big 116 centimeters when it's fully open. And this will be big enough to get most of the type of shots that you want to get. If you know you want to get even more creative, then the Insta360 extended selfie stick is a must have. There are a couple of caveats here. Firstly, Insta360 don't recommend using this as the camera is too heavy, so you must use this at your own risk. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you look back at yourself with this stick, because of the bend, you do see the stick in your hand. Where this does work really well though is reframing away from yourself and using the stick as like a big camera crane for those high angle or drone style type shots. If you're using your 1 inch 360 for virtual tours or you just think you want to mount it on a tripod at some point, then I'd seriously consider getting a monopod. A monopod will give you a solid selfie stick that is longer than most selfie sticks and it will also give you a counterweight to stop the monopod falling over and a much wider tripod. And all of this adds up to a more robust and a more stable and more professional accessory for your 360 camera. Both of these selfie sticks are from a pro range monopod system. This selfie stick is by Best 360 and this is carbon fiber and extends to more than 150 centimeters. This selfie stick is by Bushman and it's aluminium and it also extends beyond 150 centimeters. Both of these monopods come with a 500 gram counterweight which keeps them more stable on uneven ground and in windy conditions. And both of these pro systems have their own unique features. With the Bushman you can screw the counterweight underneath the tripod and the tripod legs are really well engineered and in their standard position have a length of 19 centimeters. The Bushman also has some other pro features that allow you to mount the monopod in many different ways. The killer feature are the angled legs for mounting onto a car using a magnetic car mount. The Best 360 tripod is a monster. The legs start at 20 centimeters long, which is pretty good compared to most tripods anyway, but they extend to a massive 30 centimeters. Look, this thing is huge and you'd find it really hard to knock this thing over. If you only want to buy just a tripod, then try and buy one of these, the Best 360 tripod or the Bushman Panoramic tripod. Please don't risk using a cheap, flimsy, narrow leg tripod with no counterweight because there's a good chance that you will trash your camera. If you're shooting videos with very limited lighting or with no light at all in abandoned houses, on cargo ships, etc., then Bushman also have a 360 degree invisible light source. The light gets mounted onto the base of the tripod and then you place your selfie stick on top and the light itself effectively gets hidden with the tripod footprint at the base of the monopod. Bushman also have a double halo light bracket and this allows you to mount your camera here like this. The bracket itself gets hidden in the camera stitch line and you can then mount this on top of your selfie stick. So we have one halo light at the base here, we have the camera here and the double halo light bracket which gets hidden. And then we can mount the second halo light on the top. Having two halo lights, one above the camera, one below the camera, helps get rid of any of those low angle, ugly shadows. Because the light at the top is so close to the camera, it does mean that you're not gonna be able to look directly up because you will see the base of the light. 
but you'll still be able to get a 360 degree pan around your shot and you won't be able to see either of your light sources. In terms of mounts for this camera, I only want to suggest two that I feel are robust enough, and even then you should only use these at your own risk. The first is the Manfrotto Super Clamp, and I've used this clamp for more than 25 years, and it's super solid. And it's bigger than most action camera clamps, but it is solid and will not move and will not break. It can be used to mount your camera onto bikes, car roofs, and much more. Even when you mount a selfie stick to this clamp, with the extra leverage, it still doesn't move. If you want a clamp that's more compact and pocket friendly but still robust, this iFootage Spider Crab clamp is an excellent alternative. It's more pocket friendly but still super strong. You can still attach a selfie stick but it won't stay as solidly in place as the Manfrotto Super Clamp. Now you know what accessories to get for your 360 camera, you'll want some ideas on what shots to get, so you'll want to watch this video next. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite accessory. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.